We are the first generation to feel the impact of climate change and the last generation that can do something about it. I'm Felipe Rojas, a business engineering student at Adolfo Ibanez University. In my career, frequently I see two concepts that are confused, global warming and climate change. However, there is an important difference since global warming is the cause of climate change. In other words, the increase in the planet's temperature caused by greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere. Due to human activity, is causing variations in the climate that would not occur naturally. But how do we hold the responsible? According to the Central Bank of Chile, the private sector is responsible for 63% of the total greenhouse gas emissions generated nationwide. With these alarming figures, it is logical to think that companies contribute the most to climate change. But we must not forget that behind each company there are people, and that the available supply of certain types of products and service will continue to exist as long as the consumer continues to demand them. That is why blaming the industries is evading our responsibility. It is invalidating our possibility of being agents of change. It is blinding us to the real problem. Related to our behavior as human beings with respect to our environment and how at the moment of making decisions we think only of short-term economic benefits. The world is moving towards a type of globalization based on the notion of sustainability. A conceptual change that will not only serve to mitigate the risk derived from global warming, but also to capture the intrinsic opportunities of this transition with the purpose of generating employment and, above all, ensuring a more solid and higher quality growth. Since it is necessary to take into account that environmental impacts are rarely suffered by those who produce them. On many occasions they are suffered by those who have not produced them and are more vulnerable to them the less wealthy countries that have less adaptation possibilities. The climate change will affect economies, increase resource scarcity and dramatically impact the cost of doing business. A limited vision of the impact can increase the vulnerability of a company, its customer and its suppliers. These issues represent great challenge but also new opportunities in the local and global environment. Companies must take action because only those who understand a new business and regulatory operation the scheme will have a better chance of generating a competitive advantage. So, what can we do? We need purposeful globalization, fighting the adverse effects of climate change by adopting innovative, socially just and sustainable measures. We need to promote education in environmental culture, starting with ourselves becoming conscious consumers. We need to understand that caring for the environment can be even more lucrative. Understand that a business can be profitable and ecological. Because beyond blaming the company and seeing it as a problem, we must see it as the solution. Because as future commercial engineers and business creators, we need to encourage them to act by addressing the challenge with much greater ambition and urgency. Working beyond what the regulation requires, since it corresponds to everyone's responsibility, especially for those of us who have the privilege of access to a good education. We need to move from theory to action, as we're going to spend the next 10 years planning at COP27. However, if we don't move from idea to action, we don't have gained anything.